Basketball is one of the most competitive sports in the world. The competition is savage and it's fierce. But today we're gonna speak with a Belizean professional basketball player who plays professionally in China and has made his way back to Belize and is having a regular routine workout today in the Belize Gymnasium here at UB. So we're gonna go ahead, go inside the gym and speak with Mr. Gerald Byrne Velasquez. How you feel about your workout just now? Real good. Very good workout. Got it in. Get in early. Get out. Make some shots. You know. Like the progression. Yeah, you always want to visualize yourself being great. So I see myself you know, doing the drills, making shots, and just being efficient as possible. So when I get out, yeah, that's to execute the vision. Speaking about the vision, did you ever envision yourself being where you are now, where you're on an international level, playing out on the world stage? Or did you think when you was coming here that it, this is where it was going to end? I always knew I would be a pro. It's just my uh, time, opportunity, and staying ready, you know. And so while we, you know, we stay ready so we don't have to get ready. I'll both be mentally prepared, physically prepared, spiritually, however you need to be in order to accomplish the goal. You know, from my young age, you know, I tell myself that I'll be a professional basketball player. All I need is just one shot. I just need to be seen. And so it's that part of the process, you know, being being shit, being, like I said, ready, so you don't have to get ready. What would you want to say to others who are now still in this position playing out of this court here in Belmore Pan Belize. Just keep working. You, know, you never know when your time will come. And you know, dream big. You know, I always tell people that you're absolutely free for dream big. So dream as big as possible because it'll cost nothing. <laughs> you just shoot for the stars. You know, keep grinding. Grind. Is there anything weird I want to say to your audience that might be seeing this on SMN? Yeah, just uh, thanks for the support. You know, it's a blessing to be in the position I'm in. And I have an overwhelming fan base and a lot of people who support the movement. You know, just driving around, meeting up with random people and you know them telling me that you know I encourage them and they're encouraging me to continue doing what I'm doing because I impact a lot of people I might not even know how to impact. So to all those people, just know that you know we appreciate it and this is why we do it. You know, so that we could we could pave our way for the ones coming behind where they could be even better and do more things than we have trouble there right now. So I mean I just try to do my part to be a productive citizen <laughs> and uh well an active member of the community. Good, thanks for your time. Thanks for allowing us at SMN to do this interview with you.